In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 5, verses 1 through to 11. So it was, as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God, that he stood by the lake of Gennesaret, and saw two boats standing by the lake, but the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. He sat down and taught the multitudes and from the boat. And when he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your net for a catch. Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, as your word, I will let down the net. And when he had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were breaking. <clears throat> so they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knee, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. <clears throat> and he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. So when they had brought their boats to land, they forsook all and followed him. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words your teachings. Help us to be true followers of yours. In this scripture reading today from St. Luke, we read about four fishermen who were called by God, by Jesus, to become fishers of men. A bit different to what they've been doing. They are hard-working men, simple men, simple fishermen, who through the sweat of their brow worked daily, sometimes not catching anything, but they still persisted in seeking after the fish. And of course, Jesus uses us all. He used these fishermen. He used their boats because of the crowd. Asking Simon to push the boat out a little while he was in there. To make it easier so that the crowd could hear and see him clearly. And as a reward for doing this, he gave them a multitude of fish. Even though they spent the night fishing and caught nothing. But because Jesus said to him to go out and cast in his nets. He did. He obeyed the calling of Jesus Christ. And as we read in the last verse. When they had brought their boats to land. They forsook all and followed him. They forsook all 
and followed Christ. Can you do that? Are you able to do this? To forsake all in following Christ. During this Advent season, it's time for you to think about that. Are you able to? Maybe you need time, which is Advent season, is time to prepare yourself to forsake all and follow Jesus Christ, to obey his teachings and commandments and following of him. And you too can become fishers of men by your example, the way you live as a Christian, disciple of Jesus Christ. I urge you all to pray and think about this calling. We all have. Many are called, but few are chosen because they cannot accept this burden. They cannot accept taking up the cross of Christ and following him. It is not an easy journey by any means to be a Christian, a true Christian, practicing your faith every day, having faith, believing in Christ, believing in God that all things are possible for him who believes. Give God the glory and the thanks every day in your prayers. Don't neglect them. Don't neglect reading the scriptures, getting to know God through Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O God, and may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.